So not long ago, I did a video on my experience, negative, bad experience at Popeye's Chicken. And what in the world does that have to do with RVing? Well, I'm going to tell you, and it has to do with find the RV dealer that is right for you. Welcome to Wingman Wisdom, everybody. I am the RV Wingman, Alan Warren. And today I want to give you an illustration of how times have changed. And I know that you're going to go, I know all that. But when I use this example, hopefully you'll go, oh, now I really know the importance of finding the best RV dealer for me. So this goes back to the video that I did about Popeye's chicken, that bad experience I had. And I tried to get a hold of Popeye's to uh, communicate. Not, I don't want anything for free. I mean, I can pay five bucks for a sandwich. It's not that. I want Popeye's to know that they have an issue at this one particular store with this one particular person. And I would think that the person that owns that franchise or somebody at corporate would care. And so I tried, I spent 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes trying to find a number, a place. How do I get a hold of somebody? And went through all, jumped through all the hoops. I couldn't do it. It was impossible. Finally, I gave up. Guess what I got from them instead of a person calling me? I got a coupon for $5 on my next visit to Popeye's. That's not what I wanted. I'll use it, but that's not what I wanted. So what does this have to do with anything? Let me tell you the difference. That's corporate America today. That's corporate America right now. You have an issue. It just it's tough, tough. What recourse do you have? The recourse, <coughs> the recourse is to go online, and most people do. Why? Years ago, 20 years ago, I was going to a McDonald's. I had to get gas, and I was hungry. So a friend of mine and I, we were going in the McDonald's is at a gas station connected, you know, the gas station McDonald's. But it's not quite six o'clock in the morning yet when McDonald's opens up. So I'm at the gas pumps and we just pulled in and there's a, a guy and this is kind of gross, but this is just going to be my story. And so as I'm, I'm filling up with gas and the McDonald's is getting ready to open, I looked over and there, there was this guy, dirty looking guy. I don't think he was homeless. He just looked dirty. And he was over standing right next to the door, leaning against the wall, blowing his nose. I'm like, good Lord. He doing that. Oh, my God. So I finished, you know, getting fuel, went inside, went to the bathroom, washed my hands. Ooh, McDonald's is open. I walked in McDonald's and I went to place my order and looked. And that guy was behind the counter at the cook station, already preparing food. I'm thinking, oh my God, oh my God. I mean, so what did I do? I mean, he looks filthy and what he did in front of me, he didn't do it intentionally. <coughs> I just think he did it because that's what he did. What if he washed his hands like me needing to wash my hands after I cough? I don't know, but there's a sign there. And this says, if you have anything to report, let it report your blood. And I called the phone number. I left a voicemail message. My name's Alan Warren. I don't want anything, but I would like to talk with the owner, someone that cares about the quality of the experience that people have. And so, I mean, that, that day I get a phone call and he was the, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call him? The franchise owner, super nice guy. And we visit, he says, what's the problem? I, I said, well, um, do you have those cameras that are outside the gas station and your restaurant? Do those cameras work? He goes, well, of course they work. Good. Are you able to go back and look at footage? He goes, yes. I said, go back and look at like 5.58 a.m. to 6.05 a.m. Just go back and look. He's like, what happened? And I described it. He goes, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he was so apologetic. He, he thought that I wanted something. I said, look, I don't want anything. I'm a business owner too. And I know how important it is to have good people represent me. And it's hard to find those people. He's like, you have no idea. And I don't. The fast food business is a tough, tough business to find anybody that will work. But was it wrong for me? Do you think it was wrong for me to report that guy? I don't, and I'll do it again. But the point of this story is a human being actually responded to my complaint. Yes, he did. He was a franchise owner and he cared. Now, could it have been an act? Yes, it could have been an act. It didn't feel like an act. It felt like it was, a, it was a phone call from somebody that cared, who appreciated the input. I wasn't ugly. I didn't lie. I told the truth. 
and hopefully he took that as something that he can improve his business with. The whole moral of the story is corporate America and these big RV huge chains have become like Popeye's Chicken is now, and probably McDonald's is now, probably all these big corporations. You get uh, robots, you get auto responses. How may I help you? <laughs> they already know every question you're going to ask. I don't want a, a, a canned response. I want a human sometimes. And that, I believe, is missing in big RV dealerships. The RV dealerships I work with, I don't care how small they are, how big they are, they care. If you have an issue, they will do their very best. If you're rational and you are re reasonable, you accept responsibility for some things that you might have done. Maybe for the maintenance that you didn't do, but you have an issue, they will try to help you resolve that issue. Because yes, they want to sell you an RV. They want to sell you another RV. They know to do that. They have to give you that thing called service, real actual service, and show that they care. Not just you know negotiate and talk to a robot and thank you so much and be on your way. That doesn't help anybody except the company, and the company gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and mom and pop is being gobbled up by these big corporations, and I don't like it. So what do you think? Do you think that corporate America, big corporate America, truly cares about you and me, the customer, or is it lip service? I don't think they care like they used to. I know they got nine jillion stores and all these things and all this stuff going on, but I'm a person. You're a person. Just call me. Let's just visit. I don't want a free Popeye sandwich. I don't want anything for free. I want to try to be nice and effective and honest to help others. I want you to do that for me. If you go to one of my dealers, one of the dealers I do work with, and they are awful, I do want to hear from you. I'm not kidding. Speaking of that, I've got this report and uh, uh, it's, I've got one for buyers and one for sellers of RVs. If you'd like to download it, it's absolutely free. It's a report that I put together because I am tired of seeing so many people being ripped off. They're being ripped off by big dealers, some little dealers, but mainly by big dealers and a lot of times by their own ignorance. So if you'd like to know what I think some of the best ways to buy an RV or the best ways to sell an RV, you can download this free report. And uh, hopefully you'll, as I say, gather a nugget or two of information out of that report that will help prevent you from being ripped off. If you click the word more in the description below, you can see a link to freervreport.com and you can click over from there. If you're watching this on television, you know you can't click on the word more, you can't do that. But you can pick up your cell phone and text the word report to 38470. Report to 38470, and you'll get an immediate bounce back from me with the link to click on so you can view and download the free RV report. Once again, I'd love to hear from you. I want to know what you think. Do you think that the smaller dealer can provide a better buying and owning experience than the big boys? You don't have to agree with me. In fact, I love it when people don't agree with me and they give me something else that I can go, I can kind of see that. So let me hear from you. As I said, if you click more, it will open up and you'll be able to find uh, all those links to the many of the people I do business with, as well as my personal contact information. I do, do want to hear from you. I listen to every voicemail, read every email, and of course, I, I will read all the comments to this video. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a great week. I am Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home.